This part looks like he kind of needed to not talk and just concentrate. Die, just... But, uh, you know, it'd be funny. Watch, like, yeah, the Unshackle of Let's Play. Like, I, I was like, what, what is this? And then I looked at it, and, you know, it, it's interesting. It seems like this guy is, like, the peak, the epitome of, like, people that are sick of, like, the, you know, corrupted collabs and corrupted, you know, Let's Playing and all that stuff. And, you know, trying to bring back the fun of it. Yeah, because all I do, the reason why I do this is because of fun. And, you know, I do enjoy the feedback and. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, of and, course. Uh, all that, so. And, you know, like, if, if, if it's way in the future, and it would be, that I got offered, like, partnership for YouTube, I would take it. Of course I would. That's like. To, how appealing is it to get paid for making videos? But if you get to the point where they're asking you for partnership, you're having such, you're probably um, sacrificing a good chunk of your time on, on this earth to, to do Let's Plays and all that. I think you deserve to get paid for it. Like, yeah. I have nothing against partnerships at all. I think that's a great system and it's something that like people can, you know, you know try to achieve to. The way of going about it is, much, is what I have a problem with. Yeah, definitely. Like Nintendo Capri Sun, you know, he he wasn't a partner until he had like 80,000 subscribers, and he was there for like two and a half years, for three years. Yeah, I think he does it just because of the fun of it. And oh yeah, uh, definitely, and the community and stuff, definitely. But the people that do it just to just to get like people that want to race and are not they're impatient and they just care about numbers, 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 numbers. I just, it's just a business almost, and I think it's just, I mean, if that's what they want to do, that's fine, but like, man, I, I have fun doing this, and the Lost LPs for a while there, I was kind of getting sick of all the bull crap that was going on, and Nintendo LP was the only one that was holding it together, in my opinion, and you know, I kind of refrain from saying that stuff, because, you know, I became a director there, but even when I became a director there, I was getting annoyed, so it shows you that, like, I was, <laughs> but, like, I... Now, now seeing that their new channel, it's like what they wanted it to be—the be the whole time. It's just they need an excuse for it to happen, and what an excuse but community of copyright, which I'm not sure how that happened, by the way. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think uh, what it was is that YouTube came out with their new community guidelines. If yeah. you actually look at uh, videos that you upload, one of the options now is um, what was it? It was like gives gives allowance to share your video with everybody. Yeah. In, instead of just the regular license. But you know the problem was with that is that the default every all the older videos that came before that default to YouTube standard license. Which yeah. Is, don't take my shit. Don't copy it. And the problem with that is that Lost LPs had over 300 of those, so they probably got like 300 uh, copyright strikes. Which is not good for any I'm channel. I'm pretty sure you could only have three. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm scared about the underdog LPs in that sense. I don't know how that's going to work. But, um... I think they have a new rule that you have to have to be free to common license. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know how that works. I mean, I don't know how that works. That's it's YouTube's kind of being a little um, oblivious to that implementation, if you ask me. Yeah. But, um, some people said and they did it. They did the lost LPs like had a a ruse that they were gonna have people go and like do false flags to get them shut down. And give them an excuse to remake the channel. That's really hard to believe. Yeah, I don't think they'd do that. And uh, with the, the YouTube new community guidelines, I went through all my videos that I had submitted um, that were currently on my that were are currently on my channel, and uh, just basically that I submitted to Underdog LPs or um, Nintendo Feedback Crew or Okay. Any any such channel like that, just to switch it up to the community. Yeah. The only the only problem is, is that I think the way that collaborative channels download and get the uploaded in is that they use a downloader to download the YouTube video, 
And then, so it's as if it's their video, so I think they have to, Oh wait, they would have to switch to Creative Commons license. It has nothing to do with... Oh wait, actually... Now I'm, I think I've gotten the loophole, that doesn't make sense. Because the, the uploader could easily change it. Yeah. So what's the... So I think... So that's kind of hard to say that that's what happened to the Lost LP, but... I think I just created a conspiracy, man, I would just be quiet. <laughs> Yeah, I I talked about this in uh, part eleven because I just recorded that earlier today, and it's just like, you know, what's going on with all this? And all of a sudden, halfway through my rant, I'm just like, you know what? I opened up a can of worms here. I'm gonna shut up about it and talk about something else. <laughs> like, uh, um, yeah. have you heard of Scottish Duck Seventeen? No. No. Um, anyway, he is a European Let's Player, and I watched some of his Let's Plays. He's actually pretty cool. He's reminds me a lot of. He reminds me a lot of you. Buddy. Oh boy, uh, that, that, that could be a good or bad thing. Uh huh. And he just barely, he just barely started doing a Let's Play of Uncharted, the exact same game that I'm doing. So it's just like and he's he's a bigger LP out there mm -hmm. than I am. He's he has like 20,000 subscribers. Oh, okay. I, I can't imagine what it'd be like to have that many because I I fear for that. Not not more so just like dream about it because I don't know like if like you would wake up you sleep through the night and wake up and, and you could have like a hundred messages. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, and it, grenade. Ooh, <laughs> grenade. And I kind of feel like Koopa Kung Fu right now. If you've ever uh, seen, he's. Ow. I blew up your he's, cover. Yeah. He's doing an LP of Luigi's Mansion, and Chugga Conroy just barely started up an LP of. Luigi's Mansion, and so oh, yeah. he, at, um, Koopa Kung Fu actually said in his uh, one of in one of his videos that he's honored that Chugga is actually doing uh, LP of Luigi's Mansion. Doesn't make sense. How are you honored? <laughs> because he he thinks, and I. And I have the same viewpoint as uh, him. He says that the most, the more uh, games, the more LPs LP a certain game, the higher it is in the community's eyes. Like the higher rank the game is. So, what well, do you think just, about that? A, uh, well, what I think about that is, uh, I think it's a horse cow. I mean. Uh, I think the ones that should be awesome are the ones that are like never played. Like I, 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 I mean, I love Zelda, but I tell you what, mm -hmm. how many fracking people are doing Ocarina of Time? Nothing against them, nothing against them at all. I, but like Nintendo Capri Sun did it. Uh, every single person in the entire world has done it. I swear. <laughs> yeah, I think I have like three, uh, uh, three people in my sub box right now currently yeah. that are doing Ocarina of Time. I mean, it's great. It's a great game, and it's probably fun to let's play. Uh, but that's why I like people—the people that do it. Like, it's—it's it's the thing is, is like, how who, how do you break away from the mold? The only way to do that, in my opinion, for a game like that, where people have done it a lot, is you have to um, what is it? You just have to have a following to begin with. Like, I'll. I'll watch, and I'll see that um, people. I see the same amount of people going off and um, commenting on my stuff that come out every day. It's always the same. Like there's always the same like group of like six people, and then there's like random other people that come and comment. And so that's cool that I have a little following, and I really appreciate that people. But I don't know if they're gonna see this, but it's yeah. It's just like that's what I mean. Like. That's why you gotta do it for fun because this thing's been established a long time ago. Maybe if you started doing this like seven years ago, six years ago when it was really new, you could be up there like them. 
but the fact that it, this is like a thing that people do it and they get sick of it or they do it and they get famous or they do it and they, people love them is, is just how it works and I do it because I, I, started, I started this because I just wanted to try it out and I think it would be cool to watch my videos and record and see myself being talking and talking about stuff later in the future and now it's become more so that some people actually enjoy what I do so I keep that in mind but I still keep that I'm having fun mindset in mind yeah, and if you lose that mindset, it becomes a job. And yeah. You know, when I lose interest in LPing, LPing or let's playing and whatnot, that's when I'll quit. Yeah. And right now, I don't want to quit. Me either. Exactly. And you don't, I mean, and if, even if you lose interest, you could just take a break, whether it's a year or two years, a week, or two months. Sure, fun, some followers might like, but like, I don't unsubscribe, I don't unsubscribe to my stuff when they stop making stuff. I don't, it doesn't matter. It's not like I have to pay for subscription. It's like dumb. But if you, but the problem is though, is that if you're so high up there, we have a partnership, like I said, you're expected to have videos all the time so that's what I said that's why I think partnerships are completely fine and like some people might say I'm like being hypocritical about that because I'm really really have strong views about people doing it for greed but I think if you get to the point where you're getting a partnership from YouTube I think you have to yeah you can't quit and if you do quit you kind of just like lose it Let's think about Chuga Conroy. Like, I mean, you can't feel too sorry for him because I'm pretty sure if this is his job. Like, he's not going to be doing any other work. Like, no. Yeah, and I do watch some of Chuga's uh, stuff, and he's funny. I, I like him, but, you know, there's times where I don't watch big name people all that much anymore. I watch all the Same. smaller names. Oh, boy. Yeah, same here. Oh, um, uh, and it was not because like it's not because I'm trying to be like a hippie about it. I love the Tendulkar son, and he's actually starting in Conquer's Bad Fur Day blind, which is something I actually want to watch. The thing is, though, is that the Tendulkar son is completely fine, but like I rather use some of my time to watch people that are doing that are like lesser known, like all of us, because it's it's like pure passion doing it for the most part. Yeah. All right, these guys are really pissing me off yeah. right now, <laughs> and I'm running very low on ammo. Like this battle, like you pretty much have been shooting since you started this this recording. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I don't know how long we've we been recording now. We've been recording for about I'm gonna say like 25 minutes. Yeah. That's like two videos for us. Definitely. I think... 